Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to BeamNG. Today, we're going to be doing some more weird experiments on vehicles, and I thought I'd start off with something pretty simple, but something I've always wanted to do. And that is a progressive speed bump. I want to see how far some of these cars can get. We have the very basic standard speed bump here and after every five speed bumps it gets larger and larger to the point where well i would hope nothing can make it well actually i hope something makes it this far but i can pretty much guarantee it won't because that is like a four foot hump yeah good luck unless you're a monster truck i guess but we are indeed not a monster truck as you can see i thought we'd start off with the gavril d because well it's the starting car in this game and it's a good starter, I believe. It should do actually quite well. I mean, it is a truck after all, so it has a high ground clearance, but I don't think it's going to be enough to take on these things. I think we're getting close now, and indeed we are. Look at the size difference at the back. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. All right, unfortunately, this camera is at the worst place. Let's move in a little bit. And sorry, guys. I was hoping to get the good outside cameras, but I think we got to go for the generic orbit camera. <laughs> This is going much better than expected. That being said, my engine is... I don't even think it's in place anymore. I'm going to say that's probably it. I have to say I might need to design a few more speed bumps, though. That actually made it to the second largest size, as you can see. It goes one size up. I'm just going to keep this here as rubble, you know? We'll, we'll just pull it to the sidelines here. And yeah, I have to say I thought it'd make it half this distance, so... I'm actually shocked. Let's try a modified version of the Gavril D. I actually don't know if modified will do better or worse because it is going to be going faster. You got to think about that. But the ground clearance and the better wheels on this version should hopefully help it. I'm curious to see how long this thing can last, though, because I don't know if that was just sheer luck or what. <laughs> but I feel like the Gavril D shouldn't go that far. We are just kind of coasting right over it now as you can see this is actually really cool to watch because i'm essentially not hitting the ground at all and my god i think we're gonna have to add a little bit more to this the modified version i would say it might even go a little bit further am i really gonna land this oh perfect oh my god where did that wheel come from what <laughs> Was that this wheel over? Okay, that makes sense. Yes. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't... I, God, I hope I don't need to add any more speed bumps. I'm going to give this one one more try uh, because it technically made it all the way to the end of the old version, which was to about here. And uh, I hope that's enough because this is getting insane already. All right, here we go. Is it going to get as lucky this time? I mean, one bad bump and everything could go poorly. I'm going to try and steer back into the middle. Not very smart to turn on speed bumps, though. But yeah, it's looking like it's still going to pass the basic model. But I'm going to say probably right about... I would say here is its limit. That's more of what I expected. And perfect. Looks like it's going to fall off the side, more or less. Uh, so yeah, that made it pretty far. I feel like this will be a great comparison. Stock Hopper versus stop Stock Gavril D. I gotta say, I think the Gavril D is gonna win it, just judging by the bounce right now. It's gonna be close, though. I'm trying to keep it straight. I'm gonna hit the Gavril D. Yeah, I don't think that would have made it. Oh, and there we go. We're pushing the Gavril D a little bit further, I guess. All right, let's see. The Baja edition of the Piccolina. Again, really focusing on things that should hopefully make it somewhat decent. <laughs> Both back wheels fell off at the same time. That was actually an insane crash. I love that. Didn't make it very far, unfortunately, though. All right, let's try something that's going to be catastrophic. This has no sense going over speed bumps very fast. And I don't think this is... Well, it might go far. It might hit one of the speed bumps and go flying because we are going 240 kilometers an hour. But I don't think this one's going to last very long. That was its first major hit. If the back end hits too poorly here, it's going to flip. Guaranteed. It's actually going to get so far just because it's going right over them. Maybe I should have spread these out a bit more. But I think it's going to make for some fun crashes with how close they are together. I love watching that slow deterioration at the back there. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Obviously, 
chaos has ensued. I wouldn't, I don't know. It feels kind of cheap saying that this beat the Gavel D. It'll probably beat everything. It's going to beat everything, but that's just because it floated over them. I don't know what to think about this. Technically it did make it the furthest, but it just flew over everything. So is this the winner? I don't know. Of course, we got to try the failure that is the pigeon. <laughs> Something has to make it, you know, to two bumps. And it's gonna be this. I'm actually shocked it's made it this far. Oh god, it's already it's already over. <laughs> Most of these crashes has just been flips. Look at how bad this is. The pigeon is just always a complete failure. Everything else is so far ahead. There's something else I always wanted to try with speed bumps. Do square wheels with triangular speed bumps make for a smooth ride? Or is it just as chaotic as it normally is? I thought it'd be fun. So I set up this little course here just to see. I think I will be a lot smoother on this. It won't be perfect than it will on ordinary flat ground. But I've never tested it. So I thought, why not try now? Because it looks really, really fun. So let's give it a shot here. Now, this isn't perfect because, well, I mean, the length of the truck just doesn't really work out very well with these. But look at that. Did you see how smooth that was? And then the moment we get off, it was so freaking awful. I want to see if that was sheer luck. Because, <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect it to actually be smooth. Like, that... This is... If you look at it from the side, it is flat. This is actually working. I mean, it's not as fast as I thought it would be. I mean, square wheels are generally <laughs> really bad. But that was pretty good. Now you can see it on flat ground, and it does have that wobble going on compared to what we were doing before. I don't think it's any faster, but I just love how smooth it actually was. Now, if we can get this thing up, it's hard to get it going sometimes. We can just kind of compare, and yeah, the wobble is absolutely insane. It definitely gets up more speed on flat ground, though. <laughs> once it does get up to speed. Now, I don't know if you remember this, but when the Piccolina came out, a lot of people were attaching a mattress to the roof because it turned into the perfect glider. Now, way back in the day, I actually did this same thing with a, a stripped plane and I was able to make essentially a kite. I wanna see if we can do the same thing with the Piccolina, because I think it would be absolutely insane if we can turn this thing into a kite. So we're gonna see if we can actually do this or not. Uh, I've never tried this, so we'll see what happens. Do I hear squealing? Wait, whoa, 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 why are the wheels squealing? Oh, I must have had parking brake on, yet I don't even have an engine. All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. It's very hard controlling two cars at once. I guess I don't really need to control that one yet, so let's get this thing up to speed. And I don't know if this is going to be fast enough to get lift, but it is doing what it should do, which is lifting up the mattress. And if we go fast enough, obviously air drag will uh, turn this thing into hopefully a kite. It is actually going on two wheels every now and then. I think we've pretty much maxed out 135. That really isn't enough. I think if we can get it to like 180, this might actually work out. Okay, we got a track day version. I really hate that it pulls itself in. Hopefully this will be enough to get this thing. Oh yeah, that's right, freaking brake. Stop, stop, go straight. <laughs> All right, we are going much faster. I'm gonna flip over to it because I have a feeling we might take off here. Come on, come on, little, we have lift. We have lift. I was trying to stabilize it. God, it was like a millimeter of lift, but that is what we needed, a little more speed. Let's see if we can get this thing a little bit better, though. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is not fine. Take it off the jump. Take it off the freaking jump. <laughs> oh, this isn't as going as perfectly as planned, but I'm having fun. All right, come on. This is nice and straight. Stabilize. We are flying. Look it, we're... <laughs> it's so hard without wings to keep this thing straight. But we were definitely flying for a little bit. I mean, I don't know if that's considered flying or not. <laughs> In my mind, it is. Oh, oh, once again, I just... I can't keep it straight. Come on. Get some flight, little guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> This one's not going as well. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I I'm, I connected the node higher on the truck. But yeah, we're so close now. Even if we get flight, it doesn't matter. So yeah, it's, it's more gliding with style 
<laughs> but it definitely works. I found uh, an old mod I have. It's a styrofoam cube box. I never really used it because it's so small and so annoying to uh, spawn in multiples of them. But now that I've been doing more of this modding, or I guess technically editing, uh, very easy to spawn in these things. So why not build a giant cube wall or I guess block and see if we can actually damage a car with these things. I wonder if, you know what, we should do what, tiers of it if it actually does damage. I've never actually tried this, so I don't even know if these things will hold up. And it looks like they're not doing well, but they're doing okay. All right, can a material design to keep things safe damage things? That's all I want to know right now. I don't know if this is going to be enough or not. Oh my god! That was actually way cooler than I expected, and indeed it does damage. Oh, we, we, we must go further into this now. The only downside of this is I have to manually reset every cube. Not very fun. Oh, that was too many cubes. 180 cubes is too many cubes. Oh god, I just realized I have to reset this all. Oh my god. So yeah, going any higher than three is a bad idea. It gets a little wobbly right now, but that really is perfect. So we got uh, 88 cubes now. That is more than enough. It's double what we did last time. Now I just need to find... Oh God, I need to figure out which... <laughs> I gotta get the right vehicle. All right, we got the new Bruckle Bastion out. This should be something that can do a lot of damage, which is all I really care about right now. So yeah, we're gonna go and hit this at a stable uh, 220, it looks like. Let's slow it down, good timing, and... <laughs> oh my God. I love just seeing like a tunnel right at the end go through. That is a lot of damage for styrofoam. I can't believe how stable this is too. This is a lot to calculate and my PC is running just fine with this. Oh, that was fantastic. I just love the thought of something so light and so delicate that this designed to protect things absolutely destroying things. Let's get the new bull eye to hit it as well. I love this thing now. It just sounds so freaking good. Also, it's basically a wedge, so it should shoot these things really high in the air. At least I hope. We'll find out in one second here. Let's pull out of this view just so we can see kind of how this goes oh my god <laughs> i love it it actually didn't do as much damage as i thought did rip up the uh looks like it's got a convertible roof on it so yeah i didn't even know that that's pretty cool and yeah that's how you use styrofoam as a destructive weapon i guess <laughs> All right, guys, but that's going to wrap it up for another episode of BeamNG Drive. I like this styrofoam plow I have on the thing now. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the shenanigans once again in BeamNG. Keep the suggestions coming, by the way. I know a lot of you guys have uh, ideas that you want me to do. And yeah, if enough people are enjoying these episodes, I definitely will do more and do some of your suggestions. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.